Hello everyone. Today I'm going to share you a story that is very near and dear to my heart. When I was a when I was a child and when I was little, I used to beg to my dad to read this story to me every night. I refused to let him to, uh, see any other book. It's one of my favorites and I hope it becomes one of yours. That's why I like to share it with you today. The Giving Tree by Shel Silverstein. Once there was a tree. And there was a little boy. And every day the boy would come And he would gather her leaves. And he'd make them into crowns and play king of the forest. He would climb up her trunk and swing in her branches. and eat apples and they would play hide and go seek <laughs> and when he was tired he would sleep in her shade And the boy loved the tree. Very much. And the tree was happy. But time went by. And the boy grew older. And the tree was often alone. Then one day, the boy came back. And the tree said, come boy, come, come and climb up my trunk and swing in my branches and eat apples and play in my shade and be happy. I'm too big to climb and play, said the boy. I want to buy things and have fun. I want some money. Could you give me some money? I'm sorry said the tree, but I have no money, only leaves and apples. Take my apples, boy, and sell them in the city, and then you will have money, 
and you will be happy. And so the boy climbed up the tree and took the apples. And he gathered them up and carried them away. And the tree was happy. But the boy stayed away for a long time. And the tree was sad. But then one day, the boy came back. And the tree shook with joy. And she said, come boy, climb up my trunk and swing from my branches and be happy. I'm too busy to climb trees, said the boy. I want a house to keep me warm. He said, I want a wife and I want children. So I need a house. Could you give me a house? I have no house, said the tree. My forest is the house. But you may cut off my branches and build a house. Then you will be happy. And so the boy cut off her branches and carried them away to build his house. And the tree was happy. But the boy stayed away for a long time. And when he came back, she could hardly speak. Come, boy, she whispered. Come and play. I want a boat. I'm too old and too sad to play, said the boy. I want a boat that will take me far away from here. Can you give me a boat? Cut down my trunk and make a boat, said the tree, and then you will sail away and be happy. And so the boy cut off her trunk and carried it away and made a boat and sailed away. And the tree was happy, but not really. After a long time, the boy came back again. I'm sorry, boy, said the tree. I have nothing left to give you. My apples are gone. My teeth are too weak for apples, said the boy. My branches are gone. You cannot swing on them. I'm too old to swing on branches, said the boy. My trunk is gone, said the tree. You cannot climb. I'm too tired to climb, said the boy. I wish that I could give you something, but I have nothing left. I'm just an old stump. I am sorry, sighed the tree. I don't need very much now, said the boy. Just a place to sit and rest. I'm very tired. Well, said the tree, straightening herself up as much as she could. An old stump is nice for sitting and resting. Come, boy, sit down. Sit down and rest. And the boy did. And the tree was happy. The end. I hope you all like my story today. It's one of my favorites. The Giving Tree by Shel Silverstein.